What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Shout out to everybody that's tuning in. This is going to be an update to a story I did uh, some month. I think it's some over a month ago, maybe, uh, of a former NBA player, G League player by the name of Chance Kamachi. Comanche. He has been charged. He has a list of charges. Him and his 19-year-old ex-girlfriend by the name of Sakari Herndon. Now, Sakari Herndon is on the far right. And Morena Rogers, who was the woman that they both plotted to take the life of, she's in the middle. And that's Chance at the far left. Now, both of Chance and his ex, his 19-year-old ex-girlfriend, Sakari, they're facing a lot of charges. But to me, Sakari Herndon was the mastermind of this crime. Because it was in, in the article lists a, a few different things. They mentioned how she felt threatened, I guess, that Morena wanted her Rolex, according to the article. Now, if that's a mistake, y'all could let me know. But that's what the article says. It says that Sakari had a Rolex watch and this was over Rolex watch that Morena wanted it. And Morena was willing to take her life for it. And also they mentioned how Sakari was upset because Morena was going around telling people that her, her, I guess her boyfriend, uh, at this current time had took the life of others. And I think a double homicide. And I could see that being more of a reason than the whole Rolex thing. I think the whole Rolex thing is a cover to make Morena look bad, to make it seem like she was out to get her. But in reality, I just think that you had a female that didn't like the fact that a, this girl uh, was going around telling people what was told to her. And um, it, it's sad because here you have a 23 year old female who apparently is a met, is in medical school, I believe. Morena, she's from Seattle, but she's in Las Vegas to uh, sell herself, her and her and 19 year old Sakari Herndon. You know, one, one of the things that really struck me about this whole situation is that you have this female Sakari, right? You got chance, but you got this female Sakari. She has nothing to lose. I mean, look at her. No remorse at all on her face. She's a 19 year old prostitute. She has apps. Her, her life is destroyed. So she, she has nothing but hate in her heart. Because this is what she has to do to make a living. She's out here selling herself and she's 19. That's a person to me that is cold calculating and, and really uh, is willing to do whatever. They, they have no, no moral compass. They don't care about how many lives are going to be impacted by their decisions. And the reason why I'm focusing in on her, because she was a mastermind, because you know, we look at Chance, he's 27 years old, he's a former NBA player, he's in the G League. As a matter of fact, when this whole thing was being planned, he was playing a game. But he wasn't even in a relationship with Sakari. They, they weren't even in a relationship with each other, but he still got talked into plotting to take the life of this particular female, Morena. You got to ask yourself, okay, you have a female who's completely destroyed and defeated in Sakari Herndon. She, she has no morals. You know, she's a destroyed, defeated person, but you got chance. You got a guy who's in the G league who wants to make it in basketball and you throw your life away because you're being led around by a 19 year old. That's the problem with men of today. A lot of you males are weak and you're cowardly and you're led by women ultimately to take the life of this female despite whatever her occupation was i don't care about what she did that doesn't matter anymore because now she's no longer here but it seemed to me that she had she thought that she could trust this female uh but obviously that female didn't and she enlisted this bozo to to take her life is that that's just the saddest thing here to me So let's get into the particulars 
of the case. Now, apparently there is a surveillance video. I'm not going to play this whole clip, but as you can see here, I'm not gonna play this because I don't, I don't want any copyright issues, but as you can see here, this is a video surveillance video. that looks like it could be Morena Rogers at a liquor store. And that was the last moments before uh, she lost her life. Last moments before she lost her life. Now, let's see. Is there anything else? Hold on. Let's see. I think there's some more surveillance video we're going to get into. Okay. Okay, here we go. Again, dude. Here they are. I think that's them. That's, that's Sakari. And that is Morena. They both are walking in. They're both walking into this liquor store, it looks like. Now, they were both. Now, Morena thought that she was there because they. she thought she was going to go on a double date with Sakari. She thought she was going on a double date with Sakari to meet a, to meet a trick. And um, she was being set up. She was being said, this, this whole thing is just so is, is to me, it's over nothing. I think it's over jealousy. And I think when you have women, um, I don't think Morena was going to do anything to this, this, to this girl. I think that Sakari is a destroyed, defeated 19 year old who's prostituting herself and she hates the world. And she, you know, she saw that, you know, Morena has a way out. You know, she was, even though she was doing the same thing, she was looking to take her life in a different direction. So Kari didn't see it, see anything different than, than where she was at. You know, you're 19. Ain't no tell her how long she's been doing this. Let's get into this article. Let me see if there's anything else on the surveillance. Okay, here we go. Again, I'm not gonna play. Okay, that's them. See, that's the that's them after. I think this was after the crime was committed. That's them right there. You see them? Right there. She's looks like she has the same outfit on. That's him. And I think that was after they had this is going grocery shopping or not grocery shopping. They're going to like an auto auto parts. Look like they at Lowe's. And they're in there. She's leading him around. Look at that. Being led around by a 19 year old. Being led around by a 19 year old. That's the problem with men. Let these males are today. Never before seen video uh, shows the final moments of a 23 year old woman's life before she was allegedly kidnapped and life taken by a former pro basketball player and his girlfriend last December. Chance Comanche, who's 27 a former NBA G League player who played for the Stockton Kings faces charges. And on December 6th, the death of the 23-year-old Morena Rogers, uh, the death of Morena Rogers, excuse me, he and his co-defendant Sakari Herndon, who was 19, were indicted by a grand jury on March 11th. Prosecutors say they are also taking the case to the Death Penalty Review Committee. Probably because of the heinousness of it, the callousness of it. They just, they, he, he, you know, he took her life and then dumped her, went on basically on the side of the road in a ditch. That's them. But look at that. Not, no soul. Not, look at that. This is what not having a soul looks like. No remorse, no soul at all. Just a destroyed, defeated 19 year old. Comanche and Herndon are accused of taking the life of Rogers by strangling her and then burying her body in a Henderson neighborhood. Photos from the grand jury show a rocky, undeveloped lot near a suburban community near uh, close to Gibson Road, uh, Horizon Ridge Parkway. That was where Rogers was found, covered in large rocks, where she was eventually found bloodied and stripped. Surveillance video shows Rogers with Herndon both walking in and out of a Las Vegas liquor store. Rogers was a medical assistant uh, in Washington State. 
According to loved ones, her boyfriend told police they had traveled to Las Vegas on December 1st with the intent of engaging in prostitution. An arrest report stated. Uh, the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police report stated that Herndon and Rogers were both workers. On December 6th, Rogers thought she and Herndon were going on a double date to uh, sell themselves. But instead, Comanche pretended to be a client. Hours after Rogers' death, a security camera at a local grocery store showed Comanche and Herndon together. The arrest report also claimed that Herndon implicated a man identified as a boyfriend in a double homicide in California. According to the report, Sakari was upset at Morena for telling other people that Sakari had implica implicated her boyfriend in the crimes. The arrest report stated Las Vegas detectives said that Comanche later confessed to the crime and told police where to find Rogers' remains. He told police that Herndon told him about having issues with Rogers, prompting the pair to put together a plan to lure her away from her friends to end her life, to unalive her. <laughs> this is just, this is just sad. It's sick, it's sad, it's demented. Because Morena actually trusted Sakari. Sakari did this because in a lot of these situations, it always is about jealousy or some dude. But, but they're making it seem like it's because she felt threatened. But you're <laughs> you're hanging around her. If, if, if somebody's a threat to you. Now, remember, you know, uh, Morena traveled to Vegas. You know, she is not even from Vegas. She's from Washington State. And I believe Sakari's from California. If you feel threatened, you don't. What you do is you stay away from that person. You don't go around that person, right? I think there's more to it than what she had, than what's being told, because it makes it seem like they felt threatened and they had to do it, almost. Text between Comanche and Herndon showed a conversation before Roger's death, discussing how they would take her life. The, how they should take the life of someone, such as if they should strangle or use a knife or a baseball bat. According to a grand jury documents, Comanche had initially tried to find someone to do the deed. He told police he offered a friend 3000 to commit the crime, but the friend was not interested in helping. Well, good for him, uh, the report stated. He should have went straight to the police, though. Tr tr text transcripts also revealed a third person who may have known about the alleged plot Comanche and Herndon appeared in court on Wednesday, March 13th. The arraignment was continued to March 28th. Court records indicate the case will be going before the, as I told you, the death review committee. This, this situation should have never happened. But this is what happens when you have a simp and you have a young female who's bitter, who's angry at the world, and who's who's basically has now sacrificed her life, no, her, her freedom and the freedom of this guy because of some female drama. A female, now mind you, that she didn't have to be around. Now, I, I'm, I don't see anything that I've read where there she's living with her. I mean, you know, uh, Morena's from Washington State. I believe the car's from California. You don't have to be around her. If you feel threatened, you did this because you wanted to do it. You got to understand some of these people are demented and they want to know what it's like to take somebody's life. I truly believe that. Again, you have a 19 year old girl who sells herself. She she hates the world, probably hates herself. So doing this is something that she's probably always thought about and wanted to to see it through. And this guy helped her. And this is this. <laughs> You know, this is the reason why I make these videos, because I want to show y'all what's going on out here and how defeated and destroyed a lot of these males are and females as well. Um, but this this is just an update. I wanted y'all to see this. You know, let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. Like this video, share it. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, X, Instagram. Check out all the videos and I'll see y'all next one.